Hello everyone, welcome to Infosec Daily. In my last video about Nuclei, some of you were asking about how I was getting notified automatically about the vulnerabilities via Telegram. So I thought why not make the video explaining the same. Today I'll be talking about this tool by Project Discovery called Notify. As the name suggests, Notify is a tool by Project Discovery that helps you send notifications to Discord, Slack and Telegram via the CLI itself. It can also pull requests from Burp Collaborator instances and post to CLI and also send notifications via webhooks to Slack and Discord. Let me now show you guys how we can install Notify on our systems. I have shown it on Mac but the process will remain the same on your Linux machines as well. There are two ways by which we can install Notify. One is by downloading the binary directly and another one is by using Go. Let's uh, install it via Go. I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. Okay, so it says Go found because I have already downloaded it via Go. Now let's go to our Go directory. Go and bin. Now let us move uh, notify to our path variable. Okay, so... Um, this should have installed notify on our system let's check if it works all right it does now that we have notify installed on our system let us explore some ways to use it to its full potential let us configure notify to use discord to send us notifications uh, we can also use Slack or Telegram to receive notifications. However, for the purpose of this video, I'll be configuring it to notify me via Discord. Let us now configure Notify to work with Discord. So to do that, first we'll need to open the Notify um, configuration file. Once you enter Notify, uh, you'll get the location of the configuration file on your system. So you can edit it via your favorite editor. I'll use Nano here. Now what you'll need to do is you'll need to open Discord and add a server. So you can use create my own for me and my friends. Name your server. And now that it's done you'll need to go to your server settings and integrations and you'll need to create a webhook. So uh, let's name our webhooks. And copy the webhook URL. Now that the URL has been copied, you'll need to paste it here. Uh, make sure to unhash this. Paste it. And also remove the hashtag from here, discard true. Okay, so this should work now. Uh, let's save it. Uh, let us now test if it's working. So to test if it's working, what we'll do is echo hello from notify and let's pass it via notify. Okay, so it's working. We can also use notify to pull requests from our verb collaborators instance and notify it to us via Discord and Slack whenever we receive a request in our Burp Collaborator instance. To pull requests from our Burp Collaborator instance and send it to us via Discord, uh, we'll need our Burp Collaborator's link's BIID. While there are multiple ways to get the BIID, we'll use this tool by Project Discovery called Intercept. Now, we'll need to in install Intercept first. I have already installed it. You can install it uh, using the same method we installed Notify. The process is exactly the same. Now, once uh, no Intercept is installed, open your burp and you'll need to go to Project Option, MISC, and check this box, Pull Over Unencrypted HTTP. Now that it's done, uh, Create a Burp Collaborators instance. Okay, copy this link and let us paste it here. Okay, so now we'll run intercept, sudo intercept. 
now click on poll now and it should get the bi id here poll now okay so the bi id has been captured by intercept so let's copy this and we'll need to paste it in our notifies configuration so let's paste it here so i believe i pasted that twice I'm sorry. Okay, let's paste it here. And let's save the file. Okay, so now that it's done, uh, now notify should uh, notify you when something hits your Bob Collaborators instance. So let's test that. Let us run notify. Okay, so now it says using BAID this. Now let us visit this, uh, visit our Bob Collaborators link. Okay, so now we should uh, receive a message on our Discord. Yes, the uh, collaborator received an HTTP request. So this is how we can pull requests from our Bob Collaborator instance and send it to us via Discord. Now it now now that we have the BI ID, uh, we don't even need Bob to be running here. We can close. Uh, we can close it we can exit burp uh, this will still work let's reload it again uh, you can see i got the http request again doing this would allow us to gain persistent access to our burp collaborators link and would also notify us whenever something hits our collaborator link we can use Notify in combination with Nuclei or any other tools of our choice to get automatically notified about the information we want to receive. While there are unlimited use cases of Notify, you can check our video on how we used Notify to send us notification via Telegram if, Notify, if Nuclei finds a vulnerability. This would give you a rough idea on how you can integrate Notify in your workflow. The link to this video will also be in the description below. So that's all for this video. I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Or we also have a subreddit where you can ask questions. The link to that will be in the description below. If you liked the video and would like to see more such videos, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you.